Jesus gets baptized before he really starts his ministry. This is what kicks it off. For you know, the first 30 years of his life, we see a just a couple little stories of Jesus you know, being born and then as a child. His whole life, though, up until he starts his ministry, we have no idea what he was doing. But as soon as he gets baptized, man, that's when he just goes on his mission and does all of the things that he was supposed to do and needed to do for the Father. And it started with his baptism. That's, that's the beginning. So this confessing of sins, I don't believe someone has to confess all of their sins to be saved. And this is another one of those reasons why you know, people read this and, and you kind of forget because we've had baptism for so long and normally when someone gets saved, we want to get them baptized right away. We forget that people had never been baptized before this. So you've got a bunch of saved people that had never been baptized before coming to John and seeking John out. Hey man, here's this guy. He's baptizing people. It's a new thing. They had already been saved. He's a preacher of truth, a preacher of righteousness, and trying to prepare the, the way of the Lord. So they're all coming and just getting right with God, confessing their sins to God, not to John. You know, they're, they're getting right with God and getting baptized. But I think this adds to some people's confusion of saying, well, see, he's saying everyone had to repent of their sins. That's why they're confessing their sins when they're getting baptized. No, these people were already saved. These ones, I'm, like I said, I'm sure there's people getting saved and then baptized, but these people who are just getting right with God, they're confessing their sins. Um, I also just want to add too, you know, confessing of sins. This isn't brought up very much in the Bible at all because it's not necessary for a person to confess their sins like to someone else to be absolved. Like the Catholic Church teaches, you have to go into a closet and, and, and tell this priest all your sins so that he can pray for you and tell you what you need to do for your penance to get right with God and all this other stuff. That's not found anywhere in Scripture. The Bible tells us in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. One mediator. It's not, it's not the priest in the box. It's not Mary the mediate tricks that they teach is the go-between between you and Jesus, and then Jesus goes between you and God. No, we go straight to Jesus, right? He's the mediator between us and God. And you know why he's the mediator? Because he died for our sins. That's why. That's what reconciles us to God is the blood of Jesus Christ. That's all we need. 